I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is our Golf Pool VR Review. By Barefoot Gaming. <laughs> VR, Louis, what's the mishmash? Why, what's the, the connect here? What's happening? The, the mishmash is mini golf and pool together. So you're playing eight ball pool. In five different environments. In five different environments, plus one different special environment. A mini game. And, and basically it's mini golf mixed with eight ball pool. And you've got to, you've got to putt all of the balls, all of your colored balls. Yep. And the black ball into the holes before the other guy. It's similar rules to eight ball, but it's got a couple of changes. And we'll talk about that in, in a little bit. Yes. I think the physics are good. I, I can't tell if it felt like it's maybe about what it would be like they, to actually they, play it. They look pretty close, yeah. It's available on all the major, uh, the Vive, the Oculus, um, Index, Windows Mixed Reality. It's available single player. You can play multiplayer online with this if you want. Yeah. But then there's also the mini game at the end where you can save penguins. And the concept is you kind of on an ice float and you only have a set number of balls and you want to hit the ice cubes, which yep. are actually penguins, and then you let them loose. And Speaking of the story mode, why were we saving the penguins again? I don't know. Yeah. It's because if you see a penguin frozen in ice, it's what you do. You gotta hit it with some sort of fireball. This that's, is not a super expensive- That's science. <laughs> that is science. <laughs> this is not a super expensive game. I think it's like $14. All right, pros, cons. Uh, Louis, is this game worth it? Give me, give me your list. I would purchase this game based entirely on the backgrounds, the, the part that's not even playing the game. The quips that these guys, you know, are- It's are, cute, that's they're, true. They're mouthing off as you're playing. They look really, really good. Now going straight to the game, not so much. There, There's a way to play this game where it's accurate and you can get a, a, a I was gonna say a hole in one. It's very twitchy. That's what I'm gonna say about your accuracy. So there are two different ways that yes. you can play this. One is you, you line up a line that comes from the white ball. Yeah. And the other is you line up to the ball that you're trying to hit. Yeah. And that, and there's an arrow on the ball you're trying to hit and it kind of flips back and forth. Now, if you're steady enough, you can get that to line up on, on the hole. And then when you swing back, as long as you hit it hard enough, it is going in 100%. Yep. And it almost feels like cheating. So you try to do it the other way and it's nearly impossible. I don't mean to brag, but I won my first game. It was because the other guy sank the black ball, but that's besides the point. <laughs> so that that is something that should be mentioned though, is because the AI can be either incredibly good or horrible. Or horrible. In, in the same game, there's no uh, uh, there's no option for us to adjust. You can't adjust the difficulty. How good it is. No. Now, to getting back to the one that Louis won, what happened was the eight ball was in the corner. The other ball that he that the AI needed to hit was directly in front of it. Instead of him trying to knock it away, he didn't even realize that the eight ball was there. He just plowed right through it. Yeah. So the eight ball had to go in first. Yeah. Instant win. Yeah. For Louis. So oh. that's great, except it's horrible AI. Now, I'm, I'm cutting you off. There's probably a bunch of praises you wanted to sing about this game. There were not, apart, apart from the, the pieces that were not the game. I actually kind of enjoyed the the, the intro, the, the pitching wedge thing. I really enjoyed the intro. <laughs> Louis liked if, the intro. If the intro is how the entire game was, it was going to be amazing. There's massive balls bouncing yeah, all over like the place. Yeah, like 18, 20 feet tall big pool balls on kind of like a green type surface and i went this is going to be fun and then it goes to its regular mode and i went this is disappointing based purely on the intro <laughs> now the game looks really good honestly yes. like louis said the environments are great actually i thought the table looked great every single yeah. time as well like yeah. the table that you're standing on you can teleport around it choose exactly where you're going to be snap yep. turn actually turn yeah. whatever those two modes of choosing how you're going to actually hit the ball uh, are so drastically different. In the one, the odds of you actually hitting what you want without spending a lot of time in this game are really low. Yeah. I mean, both of us can play pool and we sucked at this game when we weren't using Hard. that little yeah. that little twitch thing. And that twitch thing is maddening. So yes, technically, if you spend enough time, you can make it so that that will go in every single time. But if you were playing multiplayer with someone else, that game could take 45 minutes just because they're twitching back and forth. And and that's not to say there isn't a timer. Again, we didn't actually get anybody online with us to play. 
but so we don't know. I don't want to play the game anymore. And and it I feel bad saying it. I I don't recommend the game. I the developer did an amazing job graphics wise. Yeah. The physics, I just don't find it fun. Yeah. And and maybe it'll be fun for you. Maybe what you see looks great and then you should definitely buy this. All we can do is give you our opinion, our take on this. Yeah. And this this game is is not for me. The gameplay isn't fun even when I was trying to save the penguins. I'm like Dude, this is just not fun. Yeah. So we spent, I don't know, 15 minutes trying to save penguins and we're like, done. Yeah. Done, done, done. I don't want to play anymore. It just didn't hit us in the feels. And that is the review. That is it. If you have questions, leave them down below. We love hearing from you. Lots more reviews coming and we will talk to you again real soon. See ya. Bye.